Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I am Helix here, and today I'm going to be taking apart a 2x2, two two. and basically what you need to do, rotate the top layer about 45 degrees um, with the yellow or white face on top, and then you take your thumb, like right there, or not thumb, finger, and then you put your thumb in the center, and you just pop that out. Um, this is the disassembly and assembly, so you just do that with the rest of the pieces. They should come out pretty easily. And then you do the same thing with on the bottom. And then you have the internal mechanism of your 2x2. Two two. Um, for this video, um... Most likely, if your 2x2 two two came apart and yours is like mine, where these pop in, um, <clears throat> you, it, you're probably not going to be watching this video if you just want to put these back in, so that's pretty self-explanatory. You're probably here because these pieces came out of the internal 3x3 three three mechanism. So, I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew this, not all the way. Just go to one of the screws and start unscrewing. Okay. That should be enough. A little bit more. And there we go. Got So, you probably have... Like a corner out or one of the edge pieces out or something. You need to do this a little more to get the edge pieces out. I'm not going to take the whole thing apart. Um, but this is basically how the internals work. It's a 3x3 three three on the inside. And what you can do, you just need to unscrew this a little bit so the cap, so the center cap can just like go up and down. And then make sure all of these are facing the same way, all these little points. So they're facing up right now. So then you can just pop that in as long as it's loose. So those should go in pretty nicely. The bottom ones are going to be facing the opposite way. And then you throw a corner in. another corner in and then an edge piece in and that last edge piece should be kind of hard oh it just came out um should be kind of hard but all you have to do to make it easier on you is so you got the corner is in and then when you go to put this edge piece in it's kind of hard just rotate it about 45 degrees and you'll see a little slit and it just should just pop in so now we're going to tighten this back up make sure it's the same tension as all the other um screws uh, it's a little too loose so we're just going to tighten that up Loosen it up just a smidge. There we go. Yeah, that sound that feels pretty good. And then, guys, you can put this on however you want. You just throw a random piece on, and then you can either go from there and putting pieces on in the right way, or you can just put them on in random order. I'm going to um, put them on in the correct way. What's the five? The way. So then we just continue and pop these in, and you see um, it's starting to take its shape. And then you just pop that in, pop this in, pop that in, and then 
that in. So then now your 3x3 three three is fully functional. Um, and there you go. Guys, I hope that helps you, and I hope you enjoyed watching. And yeah. Um, if you guys want a four by four take apart video and reassembly, um, comment down below if you want that. And this will be um, a little bit harder. I do have a piece missing a center on the orange, but that's okay. Um, it's harder um, because, and I just screwed up the internals. Um, it's the same mechanism as the two by two. Um, where you have centers and then it's a 3x3 three three on the inside, except it's got little extensions. Like, this is the same piece that we just saw in the 2x2. Two two. That piece right there, let me get it to focus. Whatever. Um, it's the same, like, cent or edge pieces that are inside the 2x2. Two two. Like... That and that are the same. Right there. Um, so, for that reason, it's the same mechanism, just more parts, and it's bigger. And so, if this has happened, where your internals came out, you can just, should be able to pop that right back in. You just got to be careful when you're doing that. And it should slide in. And then I like to put in corners first. Or the other corner. Oh, right here. Um, so, got my corners in. And then these two edge pieces, you should orientate correctly. And there you go. Um, I have not changed the tension or anything on this 4x4. It's just came with great tension and it's broken in. And once I do the 4x4, because I've already done the 3x3. Three three. So we have 2x2, two 3x3, two, three three, soon coming 4x4. Four four. And then I can take apart my 5x5 five five if you guys want me to. Um, let's just say, not looking forward to that, but oh well, for you guys, I'll do it, and thanks guys for watching, and I've already done dollar store cubes, um, and let me reach it, soon coming, the money cube, in fact, I could do this right now, but I will not. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm still going to make a video on it. Need to cut through these. Get the glue off. Excess glue. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope that it was helpful to you guys. And for the time being, I focus on my money cube. This will be the next video coming out right after this video. So, guys, thanks for watching. And J. Ray Cuber, I'm out.